what's up? It's that metal guy 1983 coming to you guys with a craft beer review. Peace, love, and beer, y'all. Hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. Thanks for stepping in, hanging out. Please make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and leave a comment. Hit that notification bell. Let's get into this. So today we are talking about Space Rex Hazy IPA from Fremont Brewing. <laughs> yes, and this is a hype hazy IPA. I'm gonna be using my Brews and Dupes cup. And uh, let's get into it, shall we? Here's the pour. Look at all that goodness in there. There's even some kind of sediment in there. This is the can. Looking good. Looking fresh, fresh. Yeah. This particular IPA is 7% alcohol per volume. They're out of Seattle, Washington. And it doesn't give me the IBUs, but uh, it says Seattle Earth. Pretty freaking dope. Now, let's get into the nose, shall we? So what I get from the nose is overwhelming me that hoppy mango scent that you get from a lot of hazies. Super duper, duperty duperty doop. Thank you. Very amazing smelling. Let's get into the taste. Oh, shit. So I am getting a ruby red grapefruit out of this um just primarily that it, it tastes like that tart sour sweet ruby red grapefruit flavor like you just squeezed it cut it open and take a spoonful of it before you dump the sugar on it you know wow oh Hops, danky, super delicious, not overwhelming on the IBUs, but enough to say, hey, we're here, we're present, yum, yum, yimity, yum, 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 very good, really enjoying this. Hazy IPAs are definitely my favorite. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that if you're new here. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. Please hit that notification bell. Ring a tang, 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 tang. And give me a thumbs up. If you are so inclined, leave a comment down below. I love interacting with the Oya Army. You guys are awesome. Our pillars here with the Oya Army are peace, love, understanding, equality, and acceptance. Regret. Regardless of race, religion, equality, and acceptance are paramount here. Uh, I don't care what you look like, who you believe in, or who you love. I don't. As long as you're a good person. So come on in, hang out, check out my previous videos. I've got a plethora from you to choose from. Over 230 uploads. So, yeah, apparently I'm on my grind, yo. Cheers. Now, Fremont, the only other thing that I've tried by these guys is Lush. I'd love to get my hands on some of their barrel-edged stuff. I've seen some of the bottles online. Gorgeous, wax-sealed, look incredible. Eventually, that'll be something that I review on this channel. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the improved quality here i am uh just got a newer phone 
on a spectacular deal. I was recording on a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and now on an S20 FE. And from what I've seen, the video quality is significantly better. I would be using my ring light, but uh, I think it got a little too warm and it needs a break. So a hint why we're just using my house's natural lighting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Something about hazies that make me always have to burp, man. Um, and Fremont's slogan is because beer matters. And it absolutely does. Craft beer is an integral and important part of my life. Um, has been for years and it continues to become even more so. I love sharing my experiences with you guys. Telling you guys about these beers. And uh, man, I'm having a great time doing it. Um, I'm drinking out of my Brews and Dubes cup. You guys haven't followed them yet. Check out Brews and Dubes on Instagram. B&D Family. Uh, B and D West Coast, B and D South, B and D East, and B and D West uh, East. So all the areas they are all covered. Uh, Mama Dubes, uh, B and D Head Honcho. That's Brandon and Kaylee. Uh, all fantastic people. Um, appreciate you guys. I appreciate all my craft beer friends. Um, I'm ingrained deeply with the beard product community and I'm trying to spread my wings out in that craft beer community. So um, if you're a part of that community, if you can do me a favor um, and just share this with your friends and family who love craft beer, I've got lots and lots and lots of content. You can go back months and months and months and months of beers that I've reviewed. Ranging from IPAs to sours to stouts to pilsners, you name it. I've reviewed it. Uh, 2020 has been a fucking bitch of a year. Let's just call it as it is. And uh, I have just dived into my YouTube channel and made the most out of it. This has been my passion, my therapy, my release. So hopefully that translates for you guys. Uh, got a little bit of this left. Um, again, this is from Fremont Brew Brewing. This is their Space Rex Hazy IPA. Anything with dinosaurs, I absolutely love. Shit, I remember back when I was staying with my grandmother in St. George, Utah, and she had my whole room decked out in Jurassic Park. I'm talking the original Jurassic Park. My lampshade, my bed sheets, the posters on the wall, the whole nine um, was really fantastic. She was a great woman. Um, Diane Nelson was her name. Love you. Um, and uh, she passed away in my early 20s. I'm going to be 37 next month. Um, so depending on when you're watching this in December, my birthday is December 28th. Um, so yeah, Capricorn uh, got right in at the last minute for the year 1983. But yeah, that metal guy 1983, that's my name. Uh, I took part of that from my love for the show that used to be on VH1 Classic called That Metal Show with Jim Florentine, Don Jameson, and Eddie Trunk. And they'd have heavy metal guests all the time. Uh, I really pray and hope that they bring that back. It did so many great things for heavy metal, um, giving it a, just an amazing platform on nationally broadcasted TV. I know Eddie, Don, and Jim, they all have their own individual thing, their podcast and all that shit, and I need to get all your guys' books. Um, trust me. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, speaking of books, uh, one that I've been reading lately and has really been resonating with me and uh, I really appreciate is Matthew McConaughey. Yes, the actor Matthew McConaughey's book, Green Lights. It's autobiographical, has some motivational and self 
philosophy type things and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, one I plan to grab and get my hands on and I'm sure you guys in the bearded community have heard of this guy, uh, Joshua Coburn. Uh, I really hope to grab his book, Shit That Needs Said, some other ones, uh, but uh, yeah. Um, soon to be coming, uh, as soon as I can kind of figure out how to get it done, I'm not sure, but I've got some CDs I want to review the albums for, um, and since I'm doing everything through my phone, I'm not sure how to do that. Should I be recording from my phone and then putting the audio through the TV? One of my earliest videos was my review of Avenged Sevenfold's The Stage, where I just sat there next to our fucking cocktail ottoman and had the music playing over the speakers and just talked about the music for you. So you guys let me know what, what you'd like to see, what days as far as like a set schedule work for you. Um, what you want to see from this channel going forward, uh, that would be helpful and great to know. Um, I've tried that whole fucking IV, IG stories, fucking ask a question, get a response, and I don't get a whole lot of responses from there, which is great. A lot of people see it, but they don't say shit, so it doesn't do a lot of good. So I'm asking you, like, oh yeah, Army, the people who watch these fucking videos, tell me. What do you want to see from this channel? What days work as far as a schedule for you? What time of day on those days? So I can build a schedule that meets most of your guys' needs. Um, and for those who don't meet it, hit that watch later. Watch me when you get a chance. Um, some time is better than no time at all. So um, thank you. I appreciate every single last one of my viewers. Uh, new people that are here, please consider subscribing, liking the video, hitting that notification bell, and leaving a comment. Uh, cheers. Here's the Spaceman on the T-Rex. Uh, Space Rex Hazy IPA. Cheers to you, your family. Um, remember, this time of year is for things that you're grateful for and blessed with. Take a minute to look around at all the things that you are blessed with because we have a lot. We really, really do. Keep on rocking and oh, yeah.